nickname Mr. Shootout with his shootout goals against Western Michigan this season and against Fair State last season. He led the team in shootout goals in 2010-2011, and in his later career, he totaled 14 goals, 34 assists for 48 points. From Montreal, Quebec, he is number 12, Ben Power. everyone and unfortunately this will be my last one for at least a few years and uh, I know I've been talking over the last couple days with some people it really honestly feels like just yesterday I was uh, moving into Brady and kind of meeting everyone for the first time and just today you know we're cleaning up the townhouses for the last time so time really does fly by and uh, it's probably just the I don't know, maybe the snow falling here in April but it's just throwing me off a bit and uh, you know probably just right now that I really feel like this is you know this has come to an end um, but you know, I guess as the saying goes, or anything that's enjoyable, you know, it's going to come to an end, and that's what makes it so precious. And uh, Lake State is no different. Um, I remember my first class here at Lake State was in the basement of the cast, and I walk in, I'm going to come in early and sit down. And sure enough, the English teacher starts giving her speech, and a kid walks in a little late, and he's wearing camouflage top to bottom with a motorcycle helmet on, the visor tilted up and some kind of hunting knife on his, on his side. And I just kind of grinned a bit, and I was like, yeah, this is going to be different. But, <laughs> but uh, honestly, I know I come from a big city, but I honestly absolutely fell in love with this place. The people, just the city, the town, just everything that this town is about. It's, it's incredible, and uh, it's been a great experience. As a freshman, I sat in the back, and uh, I remember hearing all the seniors got get up here and talk and I just thought about how, you know, you drank that experience, it's not something you want to do, you know, it's coming to an end. But as I mentioned earlier, now that uh, it is my turn to speak, I'm happy I can uh, say some thank yous here and uh, I guess one of the luxuries of going last is I won't feel as bad if I miss anybody, because um, I'm sure I will. So anyways, to start off, I'd like to uh, thank uh, President McLean, Coach Dunbar, and I'm not too sure how it works, but the board of trustees, you know, anyone who has alumni, Anyone who has, who has a big say in just kind of how hockey is to be taken care of and just the operations of school. I mean, there's such a great tradition here at Lake State and uh, I'm proud to have been a part of it. And I know you guys are at the top and you have what you're saying it just kind of goes all the way down to uh, us players. So I really appreciate all the things you've done for us. To the coaches, uh, Coach Rock, I mean, there's not a lot of Division One schools out here. and Coming from Montreal, uh, I know a lot of my friends haven't had the opportunity to come play in a, a big division like I got the chance to, so I uh, can't thank you enough for that opportunity. Coach Christian, uh, I don't know what brought you to that rink in Whippy that one day. It was a dungy rink and my first ever collegiate game, but uh, you wanted to stick around and chat with me, and uh, now, you know, five years later, I'm here giving a speech. It's kind of weird. Coach LaProd, what an amazing person he is. Um, and the opportunity to have the seniors to go and speak with him a bit and sit down and just chat with things. And as people have said, he's won a national championship, so a successful business, good family guy. And, uh, he's just someone you can really lean on and uh, you know have a good talk with. He's just very approachable. He's got to talk with. So he was, he was a great re a replacement for uh, his, uh, Coach Mitro, who was a great guy. Coach Brian, which for some may sound strange, but Coach Brian, um, you were awesome this year. Uh, you know, a, a good friend will tell you what you want to hear, but a, a great friend you know, tells you what you need to hear. I think that was the best part about you having you behind the bench is uh, you knew what had to be said and you weren't afraid to say it. There was no hard feelings, and uh, I appreciate that. Paulie, thanks for everything. You had a soul there for dinner with your family. It's, you know, really easy to see like such a great guy. You have a great family with you, and uh, you honestly brought a smile and you were back in jokes. And, Earlier today, he's helping everyone move all our furniture in his truck, and there's no need for that. You know, he's got plenty of other things going on, but he's just, you know, always just willing to help. And like I said earlier, that just, I think that's just what the Sioux is, and just everyone in the Sioux, just great people. Uh, Matt, I know people have, uh, you know, it's already said a thank you to you, but you honestly don't understand how, how much of a help you've been. Uh, 
I can honestly say since game, the first day you're here, the last game of the year, you never once you know, shrug your shoulders or give someone maybe a, a quick answer. No matter what it was that was hurting, you're always willing to you know, spend an extra couple minutes asking questions and going out of your way. And uh, you know, for us hockey players, obviously, to perform, we want to feel good. And sometimes it may seem silly, but uh, you kind of understood that. And I appreciate that. Uh, Chummy and Gil, who are around a lot. I know Chummy took us out the other night, and uh, such a great guy. You can tell, you know, someone who's been around so long, it's, you know, at least for myself, I love speaking to those different people because there's just so much to say and so many great stories, and, uh, you know, that's what everything's about. And Gilly, I hope you know how much those uh, pregame speech means to us. Sometimes when we look at the clock, and you know, oh, where's, where's Gilly? He hasn't come in yet to, you know, give us a little talk. And uh, as soon as you leave the, the curtains there, I don't know, everyone's, a couple guys have some things they like to say, and it's just, honestly, uh, you know, you really kind of set that mood that it is game time, and I uh, just appreciate everything. You're just a good face to have it on the room. Uh, thank you to uh, Wes and Keith. I know maybe not the most glamorous things sometimes have to be done, and you're always more than willing to do that for us, and you're just nice kids to have around, and I uh, wish you both the best of luck. Um, some other people to thank are you know, Jim Howie and Bill Crawford. I'm sure I'm missing a ton other, but uh, you know you guys have been around Laker hockey for so long, and it's that, just like I said, that, that just that Laker tradition that just makes this place so special, and uh, you guys have a big part of that. Alex, I think you're the definition of a gym rat. I've never seen a guy spend more time in the gym than you. And uh, much like Matt, you know, if anyone ever had a question for you, or my shoulders hurting, my hips are hurting. You know, it wasn't suck it up and do what I tell you to do. You always had a different workout or a different lift. And uh, I know all the guys are going to be uh, better for it in the long run, so thank you for that. Um, there's a reason why the Blue Liners are thanked by everyone that ever gets a chance to thank them. You guys, uh, I don't know what else to say. You guys honestly do everything for us. And, you know, with Howard and, you know, Jenny Bedell and people like that. You guys are just phenomenal people and uh, make our experience here at Lake State just really what it is, and obviously being such a big part of the hockey program, uh, we all appreciate it, we all love to play hockey, and without you, uh, you know, maybe that opportunity wouldn't have come at Lake State, so much appreciated. Um, some of my teachers, Dr. Saluja, um, loved your classes, honestly, uh, some classes seem to drag on, but yours are always they're pretty interesting, pretty entertaining, you know, afraid to, you know, wake us up and have a, you know, funny joke to tell, and uh, I don't know if this is you know, a good thing or a bad thing, but probably a top five academic accomplishment on my part. I got a 92% on one of his tests. <laughs> and uh, I can tell you that trend did not continue, but uh, <laughs> I wish I could have framed that uh, Scantron here, sir, but that will be okay. Uh, Professor Zinzer, I've had a million in your classes and I've learned so much. And just a great guy. I remember one night it was a uh, night class, nine o'clock, and I had to finish up uh, some things to schedule classes for the next semester. And, Probably stayed there till 9:30. I mean, we got a family, we got other things you could have done. No offense or buts, you know, you helped me out. And uh, I know you do love your track and field uh, stars and athletes, and I know they're very talented people. But what I will say is that not everyone was born with a pair of skates or can skate. So that would be my argument with the whole, you know, we just play games and we're not athletes. Uh, Professor uh, Felix, she was my advisor, and for some of you may not know, she's. Uh, Went to McGill, which is a school uh, in my own town, so we always had something in common to talk about. She's a great lady and a very smart lady, and I had a lot of good times with her just catching up about home. Ralph Wilhelm, I don't think he is here, but uh, his business policy class has a lot of great things to say, and he's uh, a really great teacher. Um, some other faculty are Carol Boger, I don't know if she's here today. Well, Carol, thanks for everything. Uh, I know sometimes guys walk in last minute with a test that needs to be taken. That's not how things work, boys, but that's okay. Carol will take care of you. And uh, she's such a nice lady. And Terry Peller at the front desk is always helping us out with things. Uh, what an awesome person. Always with a smile when you walk through the door saying hello, catching up over the weekend. Um, and just like I spoke about before, just these amazing people in the community uh, who made this place just feel a little more like home. Um, the Zabrowski family took me in for a lot of meals and around the rink always talking about all kinds of stuff. I want to say thank you to them. Uh, Peter and Rachel Skornanke, you guys are unbelievable people, such nice people. Rachel, I wish I could have got you that win in that blue and white game. I'm not sure if Pete still gives you a hard time. But uh, I remember once on a lunch break this year I needed something done to my uh, 
uh, quad and guys come on your lunch break or whatever. I mean, that's just, just not necessary, but you do it with a smile. It's just, can't go on, uh, just about how much we appreciate that. Paul and Nicole Van Wagner, thank you guys. You guys are real nice people. I'm glad to know you guys very well. I had dinner with you the last couple of weeks there, which was nice to catch up. And uh, you guys are great people, and uh, it'll be nice to have you around, Paul, next year. Paul Sabre, for all his uh, special visits, special commentary with my family. You know, he speaks French as does some of my family members, so, you know, there's a little bond between us, and I uh, appreciate everything you've done, Paul. Um, the boys, uh, as everyone's kind of said, I mean, just some of the greatest guys here. I mean, I think that's probably the thing I'd like to thank the coaches the most, is the people you bring in here, the guys that you brought in. I mean, the stories we have, the memories we've made, I mean, that'll last a lifetime. I know we'll stay in touch. Um, I'm really looking forward to you guys moving to the WCHA. I know it's different, but uh, change isn't always bad. And I know you guys are going to do great things. And maybe you can uh, send Dr. Saluja off for the championship here pretty soon. <laughs> and uh, I'd love to see that. I know you guys are all going to do well. Um, no matter what you do, the, whether it's hockey or a job, I, I know you're going to just, uh, you're all going to be successful. And I don't know if any of you uh, people have uh, seen that commercial there with the little girl for the AT&T. And I kind of understand her pain now when she's asking if she wants more, she wants more. Because you know, I just want more time here. I'd like to stay with you guys. It's been great. Uh, Nick, Brett, Dominic, uh, Zach Trotman, Kelly Lane, uh, obviously Dominic, uh, Andrew Bond has been a roommate of mine, you, know, you guys have grown really fond of, and uh, Kyle Haynes, uh, Fred Castellani, people like that, Kyle Tolver, a roommate of mine. Um, you know, you guys are you know, great families. I probably got to know your family really the best, and really nice people. Um, some family to thank, some extended family to thank first. Uh, I'd like to thank the uh, Orsini family, they've been great to me, uh, the Riendos, Smiths, and Bridgmans. Um, to my aunts, uncles, and cousins, you guys are just my biggest supporters. I know they couldn't be here today, but they always watch online and they're just uh, they're amazing. Um, my sister Jess, you know, she never complained a day in her life. She's made a lot of sacrifices for us boys. You know, when we come home with a $300 hockey stick, she never asks anything about that. You know, she just kind of knows the. It was routine. She couldn't be here today. She's been getting promoted over the last couple of weeks. She's honestly a superstar. Like, you know, her highlight high role uh, always out few mine, so she's just the best. My brother Colin, I've been telling some people this story over the last couple of days. We have a picture um, where he's outside the locker room and his head barely comes over one of the signs in our room and now he's 16, which I'm not happy about, but I'm uh, so proud of him. He's just grown up so much and I often forget how long four years is, but it, uh, it goes by quick and I'm really proud of you and I know you're going to do great things in the future. Uh, lastly, to my mother, who has always uh, been there for me and all my adventures. Um, I can never repay you for what you've done, so I'm not going to try. And, uh, I just hope I made you proud and I love you. Thanks everyone.